So this is the wiggle worm, Frankie. Oh, and he's going to talk with us a little bit. Oh yeah. So he just joined our family today. He's 10 weeks old. His name is Frankie. And oh yeah, he's talking quite a bit right now. Yeah, he is just such a treat. Okay, I better let him down. Better let him down. I'll let him down there. All right. Okay, there you go. And it's just so sweet. Oh my God, to get to have a puppy again. It's just so amazing. I mean, everything's a joy. And that is such a great thing to remember, that everything is a joy. All we have to do is keep our eyes open. How does the brain process cuteness? When we encounter something cute, it ignites fast brain activity in regions such as the orbitofrontal cortex, which are linked to emotion and pleasure. It also attracts our attention in a biased way. Babies have privileged access to entering conscious awareness in our brains. Because we instinctively react to cute small animals as we do to human babies, they elicit the same response in our brains. This is why being with cute animals is therapeutic, because it brings pleasure and positive emotions out in people. If you like my videos, please click the subscribe button and click the notify bell so you can get all my new videos.